Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, so today we're going to go over our favorite, well, and pretty much only affordable palettes. You guys know we are high -end. luxury bitches, okay? We are <laughs> luxury and um, sparkly bitches. And sometimes it's hard to find that at the drugstore. So we're going to go over our favorite options and the ones that we have for you. Um, whenever we buy a drugstore palette that we don't like, we just declutter it. So we would have more to reference otherwise, but you know, whatever. If you're interested to see what our favorite affordable palettes are, then just keep on watching. We'll start with the obvious. Everybody talks about these as they should because they're cheap and affordable. I don't use them very often. I'd be lying if I said I did, but the Elf Bite Size palettes are great. This one is the Acai U one or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this one's the blue one. So I thought this one would be good to reference because it's fun looking. <laughs> I want I want the freaking jalapeno one, but every time I go to buy it, it's out of stock. So um, this is a good palette. There's nothing wrong with it. It is cheap and cute. It's probably our least favorite out of all of our affordable palettes, only yeah. because I don't feel like the Elf Metallics in, in the Bite Size quads are anything to write home about. They're just good. Yeah, if I put them on, I would like I need to top them with something sparkly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this next one is also from Elf, and it's a little hit or miss. So this is the Elf and Jay Kissa to the Rescue palette. I know people had um, different experiences with this. Some people really loved it, some people really hate it. I fall in the middle after um, recently using it a little more. I really like the blues and the greens, not necessarily on their own. Rachel had issues with just this lightest green mm -hmm. all over. Um, I like it as blend out shade. I like the mustards and the yellows. And the oranges are decent. I don't like the purples or the reds. Um, but I love every single shimmer in here. Yeah, every shimmer single shimmer so is just so stunning. We might just have to swatch them for you because they're so, so beautiful. Um, they my do favorite hard is pan. Bailey. <laughs> yeah, some of them do hard pan a little bit. Uh, Suki, is that what that is? I was going to say Tusky. Tusky. I think it's Suki. That orange shimmer there uh, is the most uh, one. That, it's the one that hard pans the most, but it is the most gorgeous one in the palette. Mm -hmm. I swear to you, it is. It's the most toppery, beautiful. Uh, dream sickle kind of color. Yeah, um, mwah, love that for an orange. Um, and I, again, I love the blue with the purple shift. And this green is so it's like a a deeper mint almost, mm -hmm. uh, or a shamrock. I'm yeah, like an Irish. Yeah, you, you know, you can see, you can see. I actually really like this, but I would recommend it for the shimmers over most of the mattes. But um, I don't think you can go wrong with this. I guess, I don't know if this is even available anymore. I think it still is. It might be. If not, my apologies. But if you have it, maybe try it on again. <laughs> Another elf. <laughs> this is the Earth and Ocean palette. Um, this this is... was what jump-started our, our, our life for, oh, our life for elf. Um, these greens are very much better than the Melt Gemonite. I say that every time we open palettes, so does Vic, because it's the truth, and if you spend f fucking $40 on an eyeshadow palette that sucks, you're going to be pissed too, and you're going to be recommending alternatives, yeah. so there we go. Um, the browns in here are really nice, I love the blues, the, blues um, awesome. the shimmers, the there's Tundra and Lagoon, they're very like chunky, flaky, Wait. if you want a glitter glue probably you're going to get a lot of fallout with those, um, but very textured. And the other ones are a little more just like standard metallic. the standard metallics, like in the bite size pots. Mm -hmm. I'd say they're a little more special than those, but they're definitely still like standard metallics. But the fact that they have the two like topperies in here makes it more appealing to me. And I love the fact that it, like the color story. I mean, I love blues and greens and I love murky puke greens. I love that these blues too are like cool toned blues, like cornflower type blues. Mm -hmm. I love that kind of tone. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really solid, well-rounded palette. If you want a tutorial with any of these things for content, just let us know. We're happy to make them. So Next, it's not Elf, it's Milani. This is the Milani Gilded Coast palette. Um, I think this is a little bit uh, repetitive in as far as color story goes. I think they could have gone without some of these shades. Um, and I don't like any of the yellow golds because you guys know I hate yellow golds. Um, I got this just to know if I would ever use that Pat McGrath palette with this similar color story, <laughs> and I definitely would. Um, the blues in here are just so pretty. They're like deep and vibrant at the same time. Um, and then I love, the shimmers are really nice. Even though some of them are a little bit repetitive, obviously they're all a little bit like grayish cool tones. Um, they're just really, really pretty. It's just a solid palette. Um, it is lacking a lot of uh, deep mattes. I normally just use this like deep black shimmer as a matte. It doesn't really bother me that much. Um, but if you have like maybe a deeper skin tone, you might not be as drawn to this because the two mattes in here are uh, more mid tones. So just keep that in mind. But I think it's really, really beautiful, even though the shimmers aren't um, 
super thick and creamy and metallic. They do have good payoff and still some good sparkle and texture to them. So I really love that for this. <laughs> We've only talked about this 95 <laughs> fucking times. We'll have uh, a tutorial going with, with it. I don't know if it's up yet or not, but no. it, it, it might be. And actually, yeah, it probably will be actually. Um, this is the BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin Palette. It's really hard to catch the way it looks on camera because the background um but this has uh, ignited a love for bh eyeshadows i want um, every single palette they release now the mattes are freaking incredible cheat day and delish these two kind of like fun lighter blues in here um one's a little bit more purple they're so pretty um so good the deeper blue is really nice too and then i love the shade decadent which is the deepest um brown in here but it looks brown in the pan but it's more it's like a burgundy, burgundy almost yeah it's yeah very, it's a little more purple than burgundy does yeah but it's but very cool. pretty and it goes really well with the tones in here um i don't really care too much about the like shimmery deep shades in here but the other metallics in here are yummy yeah. yummy 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 this is just such a good palette and i love that it gives you like some more options than you would think like you open this and you say oh it's a you have to do like a blue eyeshadow look or a warm toned eyeshadow look but you have this like gray in here and you've got these really pretty like taupey shimmers and then there's also some gold shimmers and some blue there's just like a lot of versatility in this palette i love it 10 out of 10 i would recommend it over many All of things these. Uh, next, this is an oldie but a goldie, the Profusion Wanderlust palette. Um, I just think this is a really whoop, stunning palette. It is a little repetitive at the top with some of these lighter shades, mm -hmm. um, but I, I do appreciate the fact that there's not a ton of light mattes in here. Um, but the the three browns in here are fairly similar. They have a little bit of a different undertone to them, and one of them is a little darker than the other two. Um, but I do think they could have gone with different mattes in here. But my favorite is just like this section mm -hmm. over here. I love these purples and pinks. I love these blues. I love these greens. I just think the shimmers in here are so, so pretty. Um, and I love the shade frosting up here because it's like an icy topper shade. Mm -hmm. And you can just pat it over anything and make it look so stunning. This blue is so, the splash is so vibrant. It just looks, the shimmers, they can, they look a little bit repetitive in the pan, but they have a different undertone. So, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. you put on like, let's say you do a blue eyeshadow look and you put on a blue shimmer but it's actually leaning a little bit more green than you expected mm -hmm. and it throws off your whole game this one has so many different undertones that it's like oh that green shimmer didn't work i can use this green shimmer or this green shimmer or this green shimmer like it's got a lot of fun undertones so it makes every look a little bit unique you know a little more cohesive you know a little easier <laughs> oh and the palette looks different now it's in square it's pants. in square pants we got that a while ago this is the Makeup Revolution and Patricia Bright palette. I have been raving about this since we got it. Um, I just find this palette to be really, really good. Really good quality. Um, I don't like pressed glitter, so I don't give a shit about that. Um, the shimmers are fine. Like, they're good, but they're nothing to write home about. I don't really love that super shock kind of formula in a palette. Um, and they're not super shock. You know, they're just squishy, but they don't have, like, They're squishy dimension. without the without the color pops. Without the shock. shock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but the mattes in here are incredible. I've used the blues and greens about a million times and they don't get patchy. Neither do the reds. Um, the purple didn't get patchy on me either, which mm -hmm. is really, really good for a matte purple from the drugstore. This is a little bit pricier than the others, but it's big and it's in collaboration with another YouTuber. So and it, Makeup Revolution goes on sale a lot. So yeah, you can normally you buy it for a really de decent price. And I want to say that I appreciate the fact that you can do this. Thank you Love it. it all the way down. Are you kidding me? Awesome. Who else is doing awesome that? Function. <laughs> And lastly, this one is um, new, newer, and it's less uh, affordable necessarily. This is more. Uh, this is more affordable, not like drugstore basically. Yeah. Um, this is the Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop at Forest Sight palette. Um, our review is a little bit wishy-washy on it, um, but the more I use it, the more I actually really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like I didn't like it initially. I just didn't see the hype behind it. But I kind of understand it now. If they removed both the shimmers. And I would be drawn to yeah. it more. Yeah, I think the shimmers are what throw me off or just make me not want to love this palette as much as, I, as I've as i been enjoying it. I love the mustard in here. It mm -hmm. is so pretty. Or I guess, I don't know if that's technically a mustard. The, the vibrant gold mustard thing. <laughs> um, the canary yellow kind of shade. Yeah. Um, and I love the blues and greens. I love the... Um, 
what do you call it? Emerald City. I mm -hmm. love that green tone. It's so pretty. And I actually have been enjoying the eyeliners from this collection also, mm -hmm. which is just shocking because I hate colorful eyeliners. But yeah. um, I think you have a lot of what you need in here and some really unique, like deeper jewel tones that you might not have in your collection. If you're a ColourPop kind of person, you probably don't have those tones. So um, I just thought I'd throw it in there. Also, I love Christy. I love the little mushrooms on the package. Really cute. Um, and uh, we'll put a picture on the screen. So Kayla, um, Kayla Marine, our, our dear friend, she did a look based off of the look that Rachel did, but she used this palette for her mattes and she used like this, oh, it was so pretty. I have to, I just had to throw it in there because she yeah. used this palette for it. And it was so, it was better than the look Rachel did that she recreated. It was so pretty. It really was. It was gorgeous. <laughs> it was so pretty. The way she took the picture was so freaking gorgeous. So I'll link her stuff uh, below. She is awesome for one. Um, and she used this palette and just made me even more drawn to the blues and greens in here. It was so pretty. I've just kind of found that like every, like now that we have this palette, I'm like, I'll be like doing an eyeshadow look and immediately I'll be like, oh, I need this specific shade and it's yeah. always in the Christie mm -hmm. palette. Oh, I need not this tone of green, but a different, yeah. like I need an emerald green. Oh, Christy palette. Oh, you know, I need kind of a, a pretty like pukey kind of shade. Oh, puffball. Like yeah. you can, you can just think of the shades. So that's really they're, nice. They're have. just very, we don't use this a lot for full looks, but the shades in here are so functional and so unique. Some of them that we find ourselves just constantly wanting to be like, Oh, I need that really quick, you know? So that's nice. Even if it is more of a companion palette for us, I really don't mind that, so. That is all for today's video. I hope this one was a little less repetitive than our <laughs> others. Um, we're really trying here. We're trying to get this content out. We said in our last video, you know, we wish we would have just done 25 videos. Yeah. Not 25 days of eyeshadow, because you can only do so much with what we have. Um, but we'll do some more tutorials. We'll have a good time. It'll be fine. It's only 25 days. We can get through it. We have more than 25 palettes, so yeah, we can do it. All right, we can do it. We should have just done 25 tutorials, but that would be too easy, right? We yeah, had to do something fun. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any of these palettes, because I'm curious. Um, I really like the Christy one um, more than I thought I did, um, and I love these Elf ones. I need to use them more. I don't because we're so high end, a lot of things, other than the BH Blu-ray Muffin, because this one is like up in the high end category, man, it's so good. If we're ranking this, this is number one. Oh yeah, by far. Christy would be probably number two. Yeah. Um, but, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We like high end eyeshadows, okay? So, um, uh, consider yourself happens. blessed yeah. for seeing this video for one. That we kept these palettes for you. I feel like I need to do the hand thing from Camp Rock. <laughs> Don't walk away! <laughs> Listen to Camp Rock while we clean today. Yeah. <laughs> now we're listening to Hamilton. That was yeah. a silly thought. A silly, silly, silly thought. <laughs> Can't clean without freaking the right hand man playing. Oh, oh my god, stop! I'm really into the cab the first cabinet battle right now. Oh, I love not the first cabinet battle. battle. I love the first one right now. Okay, sorry. Sorry. We're talking <laughs> now to we're each other. Now we're just talking to each other. <laughs> Being a twin is hard work. It is. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.